Every Roblox player's greatest fear is having their account terminated. But unfortunately for these users, that's exactly what happened. So let's check them out. So this Roblox account called The Community was terminated because it pushed rumors that Roblox was going to get hacked. So there are these two famous hackers called John and Jane Doe. You might have heard of them. Apparently, we're going to hack Roblox on March like 17, 18. And this guy pushed the rumors further. And by that, I mean, he basically used a glitch that made John and Jane Doe accept his friend request i don't know how that's possible i'm glad that doesn't exist today because roblox youtubers would hate it but because of this glitch he basically furthered the rumors that roblox was gonna get hacked and these are the hackers so here is his account terminated obviously look at his about he was pushing it really really hard they didn't believe us they thought it was all a lie they thought it was a joke but it wasn't yeah so of course the roblox community believed this man because john and jane doe were like one of the first hackers of roblox ever. It was 2017, Jenna wasn't a thing, and TikTok really wasn't a thing. So information was limited. Wow, he had like the domino crown too. The sacrifice he made for a prank. He also became friends with the 1x1x1x, and if you don't know, that's also like a famous hacker account. People thought this account was gonna hack Roblox. Obviously, this account is deleted. This man was also friends with Greg, which we'll get into, but because of all the controversies and him spreading all the rumors, he was turned terminated. He's gone. Roblox said, hey, you're out of here. But since he's been terminated, he also made another account. This is his new account, apparently. He kind of looks the same, just more modernized in a weird way, like an Arthro version of the old hacker. It's kind of scary. But yeah, he came back. He's alive. I think so. I I'm not sure completely. He has a Twitter link and his account is deleted. Okay, his Twitter's gone. All right. But yeah, his original account was deleted. Roblox did not like that he was spreading rumors. I don't think Roblox would care if this was today because there's so many TikTok rumors, especially now. Sad that his account got deleted, but it is what it is. All right, so the next account we're gonna talk about is Greg. And the community was actually friends with this man who pushed the narrative that this was a hacker. This account was originally made in 2006. It was one of the OG accounts on Roblox. It had such a rare username, Greg. Also, why do all the old Roblox accounts look like this? They never changed. They like logged in once and made an account and never returned. But since this account was made in 2006, the security on it was not the best. And as a result, the email to this account got leaked in 2017. And because of that, it got hacked. And then this rare account was sold for $200. So someone bought this account with real money. And yes, you can do that on black market websites. I do not recommend doing that. Roblox is not like that. Oh my gosh, like apparently the join date was 2004. That's crazy. 2004, I was like five years old. I bet you a lot of you weren't even born yet. And then apparently the person who stole Greg's account was called Liam Doe. And he posted on YouTube actually. So here's a video of the hacker using the Greg account on March 20th. 2017. This was a day before the account was deleted and terminated. Oh my god, the quality is so bad. Whoever hacked this account made this a video called I Baited You All. And in the description it says, LOL, Greg is a hoax. XD, XD, XD. I love it. Classic Roblox trolling. But you can vaguely see people in the chat were like, Greg, March 24th, run Greg. This dude was kind of like an infamous celebrity of the time for Roblox. And yeah, one day after this was posted, his account was deleted. Greg was gone and terminated. It was because someone stole this account and it was compromised. Sad to see it go, but Greg, you must die forever. Speaking of forever, you should subscribe. I'm trying to be Roblox and subs. So this next account is called Draco Sword Master. This account was made in 2006 and it was believed that it was responsible for the 2012 April Fool's incident. And if you don't know what the 2012 April Fool's incident is, it's basically just like a bunch of hackers that hacked Roblox and got into the admin panel. Maybe I'll make a video about it later in the future, but that's all you need to know for now. But yeah, they thought this account was linked to it, but it was later debunked that it was not connected to it at all. Oh god, he has a My Little Pony shirt on. He was a brony. Good, he deserved to be deleted off Roblox. But yes, he was deleted, but it's not really confirmed why. People think he was deleted for having a compromised account. Apparently a user named Austin5555 took over the account, so I guess we'll never know for sure though. 
it's just one of those mysteries that we'll probably never know the answer to. So this next user called Eller Nate. I'm probably saying that wrong. He was actually involved with the 2012 April Fool's incident. He was a confirmed person involved. And because of that, Roblox deleted his account. But not only deleted, they poison banned him. If you don't know what poison ban, it basically means any account on his IP gets immediately terminated. So for in order for him to make a new account, he would have to use a VPN. Poison bans on Roblox are very, very rare and used for the most extreme circumstances. For this user to get poison banned, he hacked admin accounts, he messed with the currency of Roblox, and he posted a 30 minute long video to the admin panel on YouTube. So this dude was just a mess. I don't know what was going through his head. So when Roblox poison banned this dude, just know they were not kidding around at all. Roblox said, we hate you. I like it's this type of villain, hacker. Here's what his account looked like. I think that's a limited on his head, the Dominus. Oh yeah. Today this limited is worth like what? 7 million Robux or so? Wow. That's worth so much money. That's insane. He was even in a group called the Dominus group. Also in a swagger group, I don't know. I don't know how these people hacked Roblox with their main accounts, with Dominus's, limiteds, everything you could think of, and not expect to get banned. They really thought Roblox was not gonna do anything about them hacking the website. <sighs> But hey, it was like 2012. People were dumb. I mean, I was dumb. Well, F in the chat for him. So this next player called One Dev 2 This man was very, very famous for creating one of the most popular games ever. Known as Welcome to the Town of Robloxia. This is one of my childhood games on Roblox. I love playing this game a lot. And unfortunately, this man was in the crossfire of the 2012 April Fool's incident. He got framed. During the incident, his account was loaded with a bunch of limited and Robux and all those sorts of things. And of course, Roblox thought he was involved with the hacking. And because of this, Roblox terminated his account, sadly, including his popular game, Welcome to the Town of Robloxia. I also found his YouTube channel called One Dev 2 And there's this video uploaded 11 years ago proving that this is the real owner. So old, look at Roblox. I remember when the platform looked like this. He looked up David Bazuki, I guess. So he proves that he owned Welcome to the Town of Robloxia throughout this really bad quality video but sadly the damage was already done his game wasn't copy locked and jared valdez who was known for plagiarizing and stealing a bunch of games on roblox he stole his unlocked game and posted it and he got a lot of visits on it one dev 2 eventually did come back to roblox on a new account called one dev 3 and this account is still active to this day and is about it says all grown up it's kind of sad to see and you can see his friends are his alt accounts he did eventually repost his game while Welcome to the town of Robloxia, and it only got 127,000 visits, which is not a lot, especially since it had like, I think like a few million at least. It's pretty sad how the situation turned out, but Roblox was a mess back then. You can only imagine, Roblox moderation is bad today. Now imagine it 10 years before. It was way worse. So I feel for this guy. Um, I hope he's doing better. I don't think he plays Roblox anymore. I mean, I wouldn't after I got my account deleted with millions of visits. But yeah, let's hope I'm not the next deleted Roblox account.